Midtown Live TV. Welcome to our millions and billions of viewers. We love having you here, and we're going to do a lot more live streaming to our Facebook page in the coming days. What tools are going to enable us to do that? I'm glad you asked. Check out LiveViews LU200E encoder. This is a super awesome device that eliminates the need for a microwave truck or a satellite to do live on the scene contribution to your studio or live direct streaming to your CDN, such as Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Ustream, Livestream, all of those other uh, content delivery networks. What is this device? Well, it's an encoder. It can take either SDI, as we have plugged in, or HDMI, one of the two options. It converts your baseband video to internet video and can transmit it over three different uh, streaming encoders. One is Wi-Fi, right? If you're in an area that has wireless internet, you can stream Wi-Fi from this device. The second is, uh, is actually cabled internet right there. So if you're plugged into a LAN, you've got all the benefits of internet uh, right in your encoder here. But here's why people call this a mobile encoder. I've got not one, not two, but three different 4G LTE modems. Two of them are internal SIM cards. That's AT&T and Verizon. And my third one is a T-Mobile uh, USB dongle. So right here is a little USB 4G LTE modem plugged right in here. So um, if you can stream in as far as you can, I want you to read what's on the... Uh, what's on the information window right there. So it says we're streaming, the name of the stream is Midtown Video, and we're broadcasting at 8,900 kilobits per second. So that's almost nine megabits per second. I'm, that, that's incredibly high bandwidth. Of course, if I wanted to in software, I could stream that down a little bit to make sure my 100 megabit per second or 100 kilobit per second users can watch. But what we're getting from Live View is an extremely uh, efficient video encoding codec so that I'm getting great video and also super low delay. Super low delay because LiveView has some proprietary, you know, forward error correction and um, the ability to distribute these eight megabits per second of video across my multiple streaming methods. So if my AT&T signal is great and my Verizon signal is so-so and my T-Mobile signal is not that great, LiveView knows it takes my eight megabits per second and splits it up appropriately across my uh, across my distribution methods so that where Facebook Live View is concerned, where Facebook Live Video is concerned, it's putting all that back together and giving you this awesome live video that you're seeing right now. A couple other really cool, interesting features. It's got, come on in as close as you can. It's got <laughs> a headphone output jack so that my buddies in the studio can plug an XLR microphone into the you know, the master device, and speak to your on-air talent over here. So this is why we call it a contribution device. Your man on the street interview can benefit from this IFB channel so that he can get vocal cues and even program audio from the studio. That's why we call it a contribution device. The reason we call it a, a distribution device, not just contribution, but also distribution, is because using my 4G wireless modems, my Wi-Fi network, or my wired network, or a combination of all three of those, I can stream directly to a CDN or uh, <laughs> in contribution mode, I can stream directly to a decoder that has an SDI output with audio and video that can be mixed right into my multi-camera situation. So contribution, mixing this SDI in the studio to the rest of your multi-camera feed. Distribution, going one camera directly to the internet like on your live Facebook feed, your live YouTube feed, or any of your other content distribution networks. There's a lot going on here. I'm sure what you really want is your own personal demonstration. Come on and check us out at Midtown Video. Before we go, you might be asking yourselves, how does it look so good other than our dynamic host and our live view proprietary encoding? We're coming to you live today on Canon's C300 Mark II and their 30 to 105 compact, uh, compact zoom lens. So the better image you start with, the better image you end up with live on Facebook. Your buddies at Midtown Video know all about it. Come on in and check us out. Thanks for watching today.